Six years ago, may nagawa kang kasalanan sa asawa mo. Uh, nahuli kanyang nakikipag-chat kay, sabihin na natin kay Janeline. ba? Okay. O, nag-away kayo, pero ikaw humingi ka ng tawad, so napa, napa, napatawad ka na niya, okay na kayo ulit. So, uh, binigyan ka na ng punishment, hindi ka niya pinatulog sa kwarto ng 10 days. So, naserve na yung punishment mo, okay na. Tapos after 6 years, inungkat na naman ni misis. Talent yan ng mga babae. <laughs> diba? Aminin naman natin o hindi. Talent natin yan. Makakalimutan natin saan natin nilalagay yung ating mga hairpins, yung panyo, payong. Pero hindi natin nakakalimutan yung nangyayari sa mga nakaraan at 2.45pm. ba? Ganun tayo eh. So ngayon, um, ikaw na husband or ikaw na boyfriend, what can be your defense? Or what can be the remedy for you? I-compare natin yan sa rules of court. Wala na, tapos na yun eh. Mag-claim ka ng ano, sa double jaw party, dapat hindi na to inuulit. So, anong pwedeng remedyo para hindi tuluyan, hindi ka tuluyang awayin? At hindi ituloy yung kaso sa'yo? Motion to quash. Ba? Pag-usapan natin ang motion to quash. Uh, quash, sorry for that. Uh, rule 117 of the Rules of Court. So, motion to quash. It's familiar sa inyo, I'm sure. Um, cr- criminology people, motion to quash is very familiar sa inyo. Pero I'm sure, hindi lahat kayo naintindihan. Ano ba yung motion to quash? Kasi minsan, i- dinidiscuss lang yan. Motion to quash sila ng motion to quash, but you don't, you don't even know the meaning of motion to quash. Okay. Quash. Quash means to render invalid or to reject, or to void something. So, in essence, motion to quash is a motion, okay, rendering invalid or rejecting the f- complaint or uh, the information filed against you in court. So, that is motion to quash. So, ibig sabihin nun, kung um, ayaw mo nang mahasel na Matuloy yung kaso. Ayaw mo nang mahasel kasi haba ng ano, haba ng trial niyan at ikaw kinasuhan ka. Ang magandang gawin before magsimula yung trial is to look for um, fault doon sa complaint or information mismo. Hanapan mo ng mali yung information or yung complaint para makapag-file ka ng motion to quash. So motion to quash is a remedy, guys, on the part of the accused. Okay? Uh, this is a remedy wherein um, it can be filed any time before the entering of plea. So basically, it's before uh, arraignment. It can be filed before arraignment. So um, what are the what are the legal grounds para mapayagan ka? Anyway, guys, a motion to quash should be in writing, okay, signed by the um, accused or his counsel, okay, filed in court, okay. So, ano ba tong ano yung mga legal grounds for you to do that? Okay. Uh, tingnan mo yung information. Number one, of course, is um, that's the facts stated in the information or complaint um, uh, constitute an offense. Because if the facts stated therein, uh, eh, wala naman sa uh, batas or does not constitute any crime at all, then what for? ba? So, yung mga state, teka, wala namang krimen ganito ah. Wala namang krimen ganito ah. Example, hindi ka nag-reply ng 2 minutes sa jowa mo, tapos inakusahan ka na niya, manloloko. Agad-agad. Sa ang libro, makiki- sa ang, sa ang libro mo ng, ng batas, anong section mo na makikita sa batas, na pag 2 minutes ka hindi nag-reply, nanloloko ka na agad. O, parang ganun. ba? Ano ba yung ibang grounds? Um, the court trying for the case has no jurisdiction. The court has no jurisdiction at all. O yung pinag ng kaso na korte has no jurisdiction over the offense charge. Isa pa yan sa ground. Ano pa? Um, it could be na the officer who filed for the information has no authority to file that. Or the officer who filed the complaint has no authority to file such complaint. So pag ganun, you have a valid ground to file. 
So, ano pa yung mga grounds? What are the other grounds for uh, filing for motion to quash? Um, maliban dun sa there's no uh, the facts uh, does not constitute any offense at all. Uh, the court trying the case or the court where where they filed the information or the complaint has no jurisdiction over the case charge. The officer who filed the information or complaint has no authority to do that. And um, pwede rin na hindi sila nag-conform dun sa prescribed na form. Tapos, ano pa? They are, um, in, in the information or in the complaint, they are, um, uh, tawag dito, they are charging more than one offense. Maliban nila kung complex crime ha. Pero kung dalawa yung offense, tapos isa on, isang information at hindi pasok doon sa complex crime, Ah, uh, that can be a ground for for uh, motion to quash. Okay? And that the accused, eto importante to. Ay yung sinasabi ko kanina nung simula. And the accused has been okay, convicted or acquitted for the same offense. So, hindi mo pwede 'yon according to our uh, double jeopardy rule. Kasi pag ganoon, double jeopardy na 'yon. Kaya hindi uh, pwede mong i-render invalid yung yung complaint or information. If yung kaso na i- uh, yung kaso o yung offense na china charge doon ay actually na na uh, na na serve mo na dati na file na, na sa iyo dati at it's either na acquit ka or na convict ka na kulong ka o kaya ay na dismiss yung kaso mo dati okay so pasok yun sa ground ng filing for motion to quash sorry so remember guys motion to quash is a remedy on the part of the accused filed at any time before entering his plea or basically before um, arraignment okay uh, st- stating therein about uh, the legal grounds na nabanggit natin okay so, so ganun for example ina- um, inaakusahan ka ng jowa mo for panloloko or anything like that para makalusot ka hanapan mo ng mali yung argumento Diba? Kasi madaming ganun eh. Um, baseless, walang, di naman kasalanan yung hindi pagre-reply ng 2 minutes. Diba? Hindi naman ebidensya agad yung um, yung hindi ka nagpaalam. Diba? Mga basics. Diba? So, yan. Motion to quash. Don't forget, motion to quash is you are trying to look for faults or ng pagkakamali on the part ng nag aakusa Titirahin mo yung laman ng complaint o yung laman ng information at pagkakamali nun. So parang pag inakusahan ka, okay, para makalusot ka o hindi na yan matuloy sa kung ano pang away, questionin mo kung anong pinanggagalingan. O teka, mali yan, mali yan. Oops, hindi totoo yan. Okay, double jeopardy yan. Napag-awayan na, yan na, na, na natin yan dati. Uulit mo pa yung genuine na yan, noon pa yan. Tapos na yan, di ba, napag-usapan na natin yan, ibabalik mo na naman para may pag-awayan lang tayo. Motion to quash. Oh, that will be a gentleman's way of, you know, uh, making sure that uh, yung board mong girlfriend na naghahanap ng pag-aawayan ay hindi na yan matuloy sa away. Bawat argumento niya, sabi mo, oh, pups, that's invalid. I am going to reject that. That is motion to I hope that it, this video helps and see you guys at next. I hope hindi na naman ako magkaroon ng uh, I'm free from pain now because I just took uh, two dolphinals. Kaya naka, nakapag-record ako ngayon. Pero sana uh, maka, ma, madagdagan yung mga videos natin since extended ang lockdown. So that's all guys and thank you so much.